Welcome everybody to our fabulous gym today by popular or whatever they meant, my push day. So my push day actually starts out with a pull. Today I'm using the long grip and I just kind of like work the rear delts, stretch the pecs out, now get everything ready to go. Three sets or so, not terribly heavy, no failure. Then I start with some dumbbell work for the chest. Um, first thing I'll be doing just for activation is the squeeze press. So where you, as the name implies, squeeze the dumbbells together. It's an exercise that's really easy to bullshit yourself because if you don't squeeze them together, it's really simple. If you do, it's really hard. So that would be my first two to three sets. Then I do dumbbell flies, even though they're not as perfect as pack flies, but we'll go over that later which would be overloading the stretch so i'm gonna come up a little out and this really depends on short of mobility everybody is different come to about here no more to about here so this will be my second exercise uh, then just because we have it ah, pants are falling i go to our chest press And this one, I'll be only using the bottom part. So the bottom half, basically overworking the stretch position. So you go under, I drive everything in, push the chest up and out, and I move till about here, okay? So the blood flow gets obstructed. The arm's actually quite heavy on this thing, so. Here I go higher rep because the reps are short, right? So I go like probably 15 to 20. When that's done, I migrate back to the cables and I do the flies. But that would only be the top half, the bottom half, the squeeze. So I'm going here, squeeze, and really hold the contraction for as much as I can. So that would conclude the chest work. From there on, I would start with the shoulders and the best segue would be, I think we'll call it the dumbbell. The best thing we would go, go into rear delt work because you give the triceps a break and it's what's most pressing anyways. There's basically two ways to do it. One, I round my shoulders and the moment I lose the roundness, I stop. So that's the top half. The other way is drive them back and I work the bottom half. So for the sake of injury prevention, I do about three sets of each. Yes, it is that important. Now also, I won't be doing any type of shoulder presses. Why? Because I did chest presses and otherwise my tricep works the entire time. So by the time I get to triceps, there's nothing left. Um, one of my favorites, the X-Men for the medial delt. I lower it to here, just grab those, slide lean forward and and then if time permits I finish off putting all these handles because I always feel it's a little bit lagging in my physique it's capping off the shoulder like the roundness so I stand like this and I just work the contracted face kind of go back and forth three rounds
as for triceps, I would uh, head back to the dumbbells at first. Just because they're so beautiful. And start with the tape press. Let's get a real long stretch. In the long head, two to three sets, and then you could finish up with kickbacks. Mind you, not down here, but here. Or, if you have the luxury, you can do pretty much everything here. So, you could go single arm if you have the time. Work the stretch. Take your time. This way you wouldn't be forced in the elbow in a weird position. Then, contract that face. You really set everything in to the floor, shoulder blades down. Just work on the squeeze, always there's much of a stretch. And then thirdly, you could also bring it to the about here and work the try in this position. Might be a bit overkill, but it's so much fun. So when you're pressing for chest, no shoulder presses. During shoulder presses, I would stay more on the fly version of chest. And tries, well, stretch them, contract them. No matter what your workout your write-up is, if the execution sucks, nothing will. Hey, New York City sound. Those are FDNY. All right, guys, Mike out. <laughs>